So I don't know if Warner Brothers like sold their soul to the devil or something, but things have really turned around with their DC movies. I mean, seriously, we've gone from a situation where we would either point and laugh or scream at them every week to being impressed every week and saying, I want to see that. That's what we say when we point at them now. I mean, the Batman v Superman teaser trailer was awesome. Uh, the set leaks from Suicide Squad are exciting. And now we have... Uh, a, an on-the-nose casting announcement, or kind of announcement, and that's that Chris Pine is in talks to play Steve Trevor in the upcoming solo Wonder Woman movie for 2017. I mean, that is just a brilliant piece of casting. Again, as I said, on the nose. Now, there are some problems with it from a business perspective, which we'll get to in a moment, but first, let's just bask in the warmth of what creatively is a great idea. And it's also exactly what the Wonder Woman movie needs. Now, some people will be offended by my saying this, but I think the hard truth is, is that if you want to have a Wonder Woman movie, particularly with a, um, a female director, Patty Jenkins, now after Michelle McLaren left over creative differences, uh, or was asked to leave over creative differences, uh, you need something to make sure that guys feel that they're included in this film. Uh, and I think that a strong Steve Trevor is just the way to go. Now, I guess Scott Eastwood isn't playing Steve Trevor over in the Suicide Squad movie, as we'd all assumed. He looks like him as well, but come on. I would definitely take Chris Pine. I mean, he's more of a star over Scott Eastwood any day. And they need that kind of alpha male personality to not only offset the Wonder Woman character, but I think to make Steve Trevor finally a character that people care about, right? I mean, like, Steve Trevor has always been, like, the male version of the damsel in distress for Wonder Woman. And I don't think it's doing the character or female audiences or just female characters in general any favors by saddling her with the, that kind of love interest. I think recently they've made some real efforts to improve the character of Steve Trevor, one of the better things about the new 52, but I think to have Chris Pine play him in a movie would work wonders for the character and for the brand, the Wonder Woman brand. So this is exactly what they needed, and if Chris Pine says no, or if it doesn't work out, I hope they continue to look for a really strong male actor to take on that role. But here's why Chris Pine is kind of perfect. He's really good at the action, as he's proven in the many Star Trek, the two Star Trek movies he's been in at this point. It seems like a lot, right? Because it's taken so long to make them. But he's very good at the action. But here's the key. He's also excellent at comedy. He's a great comedian. So I think that he could do a really good job playing off of Wonder Woman, finding an island full of, you know, these Amazon warriors, right? Uh, having the, the gender discussions and, you know, role reversal with Wonder Woman, who's very much a type A, take charge kind of person, and doesn't know the, the social, uh, you know, um, rules that have been imposed by society and the way men and women interact or the way women interact with the world. And I also wonder if they're going to go with the original storyline we heard rumor of that this will be a period piece and Steve Trevor, so maybe it'll be like a Peggy Carter, Sharon Carter situation over in Captain America where Wonder Woman falls in love with Chris Pine and then Scott Eastwood is uh, his like descendant later on. Maybe they could go with that. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I don't like that because it robs the initial love interest of any kind of long-term effects from that relationship, right? Like, we all miss Peggy Carter. Uh, so anyway, the comedy thing is going to be really valuable to the film. And I think that Chris Pine can deliver it beautifully. And also, Chris Pine can do anything. This couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. He's such an awesome actor. And we've discussed many times that while Chris Pine can do anything, I mean, have you seen Into the Woods? That's him singing. He's that good. But while Chris Pine, there's nothing he can't do. There's nothing anyone seems to be interested in watching him do. He, ha he is box office poison, potentially, which is the big red flag that I think comes up with his casting. I mean, outside of the Star Trek movies, He's got nothing. I mean, End of the Woods did pretty well, but nobody saw that for uh, Chris Pine, but it didn't do as well as the other uh, live-action fairy tales out of Disney. Uh, the Horrible Bosses, you know, that the second one totally bombed with him in it. Uh, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, oh God, what an embarrassment. Uh, and then, let's see, People Like Us, This Means War, uh, Unstoppable was pretty good, but that's all Denzel. Uh, and then uh, that's it, really. And everything else was before he, you know, got the Star, the Star Trek gig. So that would be my only concern. I'd be like, whoa, Chris Pine, I like you. And some other people like you, too. But I'm really worried you're going to torpedo my movie. Uh, just from a box office perspective, he might be like the male version of Emily Blunt, uh, which would be a real shame for both of them because they're both very talented. So I'm curious, what do you think? 
What do you think of bringing and beefing up the role, beefing up the role of Steve Trevor opposite Wonder Woman? Do you think that's a great change like I do? Or do you think Wonder Woman should con continue to be, you know, the, uh, you know, stand uh, head and shoulders above the rest of her cast? Uh, what do you think of the idea of him handling the comedy as well as the action? Uh, and then also, what do you think of him as a box office commodity? Do you think... Do you think there's a chance that Chris Pine is box office poison? Write your thoughts down below and you can check out some other episodes right now.